Hello everyone. In the previous videos in biological oxidation lecture series, we have studied electron transport chain in detail as well as oxidative phosphorylation. In this video, we are going to study inhibitors of ATP synthesis. The compounds which affect the electron transport chain and phosphorylation, they are classified into three groups. The first group is inhibitors of electron transport. Second is inhibitors of oxidative phosphorylation. And third is uncouplers of oxidative phosphorylation. The inhibitors of electron transport. The first inhibition site is between complex 1 and coenzyme Q. The inhibitors inhibit the transport of electrons from FMN to coenzyme Q. And these inhibitors are chlorpromazine, which is tranquilizer, rotenone. It is the insecticide that is fish poison, barbiturate, amobarbital and antibiotic piercidin. Then the transport of electron from complex 2 to coenzyme Q it is inhibited by carboxyl. So carboxyl is the inhibitor which inhibits flow of electron from FAD to coenzyme Q. Malonate is a competitive inhibitor of succinate dehydrogenase. Then the flow of electrons from complex 3 to cytochrome C is inhibited by British anti-levisate, dimercaprol, antimycin and naphthoquinone. The flow of electrons from complex 4 finally to oxygen, it is inhibited by carbon monoxide, cyanide, azide and hydrogen sulfide. So these are the various inhibitors of electron transport. Inhibitors of oxidative phosphorylation are oligomycin. This oligomycin inhibits FOF1 ATPase by blocking proton flow through FO complex. That O stands for oligomycin because it is sensitive to oligomycin and it is inhibited by that oligomycin. Orovitin inhibits F1 and attractylocyte it inhibits ATP export by inhibiting ATP ADP translocase. So oligomycin, orovitin, attractylocyte these are the inhibitors of oxidative phosphorylation. Now the uncouplers of oxidative phosphorylation, what does it mean by uncouplers which uncouples the oxidation from phosphorylation or dissociate oxidation from phosphorylation and these uncouplers are toxic lipophilic compounds which readily diffuse through mitochondrial membrane and they make the inner mitochondrial membrane permeable to protons and because of this permeability to protons the proton can cross this mitochondrial membrane, inner mitochondrial membrane and come in the matrix and that's why there is prevention of formation of proton gradient and as there is no formation of proton gradient there will be no phosphorylation or no ATP synthesis and thus the energy produced by transport of uh, electrons it is released as heat means there is no development or, or no formation of ATP. The examples of uncouplers are 2,4-dinitrophenol, dinitrocresol, pentachlorophenol, chlorocarbonyl cyanide, phenylhydrazone. Ionophores are also uncouplers. These ionophores are the substances that are lipid soluble and they increase the permeability of inner mitochondrial membrane to certain ions and thereby they destroy proton gradient leading to inhibition of ATP synthesis. For example, valinomycin. This valinomycin combines with potassium and then traverses the membrane to enter the mitochondrial matrix and this abolishes the membrane potential which is a part of proton motive force. The physiological uncouplers are thermogenin and thyroxine in high doses. Thermogenin is a protein which is present in mitochondria of a brown adipose tissue and this tissue is rich in mitochondria. It is present in all newborn mammals including the human. Brown adipose tissue mitochondria are similar to other mitochondria except that they contain an additional protein called thermogenin. And this thermogenin it acts as a channel for migration of protons from intermembrane space into the matrix. And this uncouples the oxidative phosphorylation leading to release of free energy as heat. 
and this is useful because this is needed to warm the newborn baby and maintain its body temperature so this ucp1 is the example of thermogenin which allows the proton to pass through this inner mitochondrial membrane and transport uh, transport into the matrix and thus it abolishes the proton gradient so these are the various examples of uncouplers of oxidative phosphorylation